it hurts when you say my name but thinking of hers finally back at the gym woke up this morning feeling completely better so probably just some minor 12 hour side effects from eating bad ice cream so about to do back and legs gonna do back first because legs first last time hopefully legs go as well legs have been sucking lately but usually happens on cuts i've had a few where legs continue to progress or don't lose a ton but generally they get crappy and the main reason isn't necessarily losing strength in the legs it's just a big loss in energy and motivation so the deeper i get I start to just, you know, not even want to go to the gym. It gets a little easier when I start getting really lean just because I'm so lean. I'm like, oh, it's exciting to go to the gym and try to get leaner. But before that happens, I hit a point where it's just oh, torture thinking about having to go to the gym. So that's where we're at right now, but it's okay. We're here. We're doing it. And after that, I'm going to go get some ice cream. So hopefully I can find some good sales so I can seriously stock up and fill that damn deep freeze. So I just finished my workout. And I'm walking back to my car. And look at this shit. Look at that. The dent isn't as big as I thought it was when I first walked up to it, but it's still not, it's still not tiny. Some freaking piece of shit smashed their door into my car, and now it's fucked me. So, workout was good. I'm about to go to Dairy Queen, unless I get there and for some reason change my mind, but plan is. Going to Dairy Queen right now, so let's go. So if you remember back to a few weeks ago, I came here and I got the Royal Brownie Blizzard that had brownie chunks and little chocolate flakes and then like a brownie batter core. Well, apparently they have three different kinds. They've got a cheesecake one, which I might try next, and they've got an Oreo one. So, got the Oreo one. And I'm way more excited about this. Seems a lot more hopeful. I'm not locating, there we go. Found the core, can't really see it. I know it's all blown out, but you can't see it anyway. There it is. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right in there. See, I got some on the spoon. See how the core tastes. It tastes like Dairy Queen fudge. All right. It wasn't worth five bucks, I'll tell you that. This doesn't even seem like a medium. I guess it is. I swear mediums are bigger than that. Whatever. Five bucks. On the dot. For this little mediocre Oreo Blizzard. Definitely skip it. I don't know if I'm going to try the Royal Cheesecake one next or not. I mean, maybe just so I can try them all. But so far, it's better than the last one. But it was really boring. Like, I would have much rather had just a pint of Ben and Jerry's or the blizzard I planned on getting. So, a little disappointing, but no big deal. Have some new Halo Top flavors, but they're not on sale, and I'm not 
spending six bucks for one of these mediocre pints. They were two dollars like three days ago. Now they're on sale for five. You know those sales that you see that are just absolutely beyond ridiculous? Look at this. Normal price for Magnums, five bucks. Close out this item only, 474. Oh my God. So this is all Almost all the ice cream filled up yet. That's getting thrown away. The one good thing though that came out of this is now I have an excuse not to eat these disgusting, super shitty friendlies chocolate cake crunch bars. Seven servings of whatever they call it, but it's freaking Baby Ruth. This is one that I think was ruined. No, I had gotten a Baby Ruth, whatever one of those half gallons that was ruined. Different brand though. So since the last jammed, which was the Butterfinger was so good, hopefully this will be just as good. And it is seriously jammed. There's a lot in here, just like the Butterfinger. So I'm hopeful. I've been wanting to eat for hours, but Courtney has been doing one thing or another since her sister's here. They like went for a walk. They went to get arson from school, which I normally do. So they go to Starbucks and then she wanted to take pictures of her when they got back from the walk. So finally get to eat. It's like actually dinner time. It's like six something. I'm used to eating so much earlier. Anyway, let's try it. That is pretty good. It is so jammed with freaking baby Ruth. I don't think there's any way it could be bad. watching YouTube while making videos for YouTube. And last bite. That's good. That's really good. It's just as good as the Butterfinger one, for sure. Just a different candy bar. It's crazy how full of candy bar those are. I'm really happy I found those. I have to get more and they're always cheap. I think it was $2.69 for that half gallon. So it's a little bit lower calorie. I think it's 12 servings, not 100%, but that's cheaper than a Ben and Jerry's. And even if it's not the same calories as two Ben and Jerry's, it's still at least like one and a half. So that's awesome. That brings me to something I meant to talk about earlier and forgot. So there are a few questions that I get asked over and over and over again, you know, which is fine. For these demonstrations, people ask me how expensive they are. Everyone always assumes that it's way more expensive than just your normal average eating. And actually, it's cheaper, especially for this. The fast food one that I did last was either as expensive or a little bit more expensive than normal just because only eating out, I mean, some days like Taco Bell was like 20 bucks, but I mean, that's for a full day. So I mean, it's still not terrible, but I can definitely eat a lot cheaper than that normally. So. Some days were good, some days were bad. But for this, for the ice cream, it is way cheaper than normal. So take a normal day. Let's just say that I ate two pints of Ben & Jerry's every day. I only buy them when they're on sale, for the most part. Every once in a while, one will sneak in there just because I need some ice cream. At least 90% of this is me buying Ben & Jerry's two for six bucks. So that's $6 a day. If I were to buy things like this that were $2.69, one say I needed one and a half. 
that's like five bucks a day. Not even, it's like four bucks a day. So this is actually really, really cheap. The only thing that drives the price up at all is when I go to like Dairy Queen or I haven't done Culver's, but if I get ice cream at a restaurant, it's obviously gonna be more expensive because I like that stupid little blizzard like I showed you today, it was five bucks and it was only like 900 calories. So it's definitely not bad. It's actually kind of nice not having to spend so much because that's one thing we, we've got a little better since we have three kids now, so going to the store is kind of a big ordeal. But our biggest thing we blow money on is the grocery store. Because we would go almost every day until Bear was born. We've been consciously making an effort to get better about it lately just because, I mean, you spend so much money. So when I can eat anything, every time I go to the store, I'm fine. Oh, I got to get this. I got to get this. I got to get this. And when you're going at least four or five days a week, that adds up. So now I go to the store and what can I get? I can get ice cream or Diet Mountain Dew. And that's about it. So there's that. In case any of you were wondering, this is actually pretty damn cheap. So that's it for the day. I may have a beer, probably not though. I'm almost done with that stupid freaking body tech way. And then it's on to the Synthesix and then that'll probably last me until this is over, I think. I think I have a couple things, but. So I'll probably finish up with four scoops of that. And I think this put me like 60 calories over. So we're at like 2060, 2040, 2060, something like that. Calories, so a little over our goal of 2,000 calories a day in ice cream. So that's it for the day. Oh, last thing. So I wake up this morning, every couple days I weigh myself. I've been stuck between like 176 and 179, sort of floating around for the last like 10 days or something. And I wasn't worried about it because I wake up looking better every day. And like I've said, you don't need to worry so much about the scale. But eventually, if you're dieting, you want it to start trending downwards because there's only so much water fluctuation that can happen before you're like, well, nothing's happening. So I wake up this morning, weigh myself, 170.3. What? Yesterday, I weighed myself two days in a row. Yesterday was 173.6. So I lost a little over three pounds two days in a row. Granted, some of that's gonna be water fluctuation, but let's say just my average weight for the past 10 days has been 177. That's a seven pound drop. So we'll see what I weigh tomorrow. We'll see if we stay at that and start turning down from that or if it jumps up a couple of pounds. But either way, I got the big whoosh. So I'm excited. I'm not excited about being so freaking light. This is less than I weighed when I ended the 30 days of fast food. 178.4 and I was way leaner so that gives you an idea of how much muscle I've lost but what are you gonna do surgery's a bitch see you tomorrow